I think a lot of researchers, well-intentioned, trying to do good for kids, sometimes don't understand the, in, the intricacies of the data. So they're very focused on individually affecting kids. So they, if they feel like they don't have a child's name or an SSN, then there is no harm that can be done. Because FERPA is, is special, right? Like it's unique. And the real matter is, I don't know if student level data is ever can ever be de-identified. I mean, I just don't know that it can be done. And so whenever we give researchers student level data, which they have to have to do their work and to answer questions that need to be answered, they need to understand that that data is still critically needing to be protected even though there is no PII per se in it, no obvious PII, direct PII. Um, so I think for them to understand the details of FERPA and the details of the fact that, hey, if I put enough pieces of information together, a, a person in that community could figure out who that child is. And so you need to be careful when you are writing reports, when you are sharing your data, and you need to understand that these small cells or very disaggregated information can cause real problems and actually be harmful to children.